Hello everyone, welcome back to Tekken Tutorials with Grumpy. Today we're going to be covering the XOR gate. That is short for exclusive ore. Inside the game, this is called XOR gate, but um, it's a logic gate. It's part of Red Power 2. It has two inputs, one right here and one right here. They come to the sides, but here's the output. Now this is similar to an OR gate. An OR gate, if either input is high, the output is high. And also if both inputs are high, the output's still high. As long as at least one input is high, the output will always be high. The exclusive OR is slightly different. So here's, if I flip the switch, and here you see the input's high, and the output's high. I can go down here and do the same thing. But now if I turn them both on, here's what happens. It goes off. So that's the exclusive OR. So basically that works is you flip either switch, either, either one, it doesn't matter, this will always change state. So it's very useful. Now I have these separated here for a reason. Basically you can use it for remote control too. So this thing has multiple uses. It's really great logic circuits, real easy to use. But first of all, you can have a, like an automatic door that opens and closes with pistons. You can put a lever on either side of the door, and you'll be able to operate the door from the other side this way. Now, this is good if you want to keep the door open. If you just want it to momentarily open, you can just use some push buttons and put a push button on either side. But um, if you want to be able to keep it open, you can use levers and use this XOR gate. Now, also too, what this thing's good for is like say if you have a hallway and you want to put a light switch near the hallway to control some lights in the hallway this is a great way to do it because if you flip either switch the light will flip from off to on so really works great for that. It's kind of what they do in houses. If you ever have a house where they have a, a light that operates with two switches it's the same principle. They're basically using an XOR gate. Um, they're only doing it with switches but basically they're building an XOR circuit with lights with light switches but anyway um, what this is great for too is remote control. So let's say for example this area right here was a um, production facility and this was a combustion this light was a combustion engine. I can turn it off and on right here. Just like that. And I'll also turn it over here like off and on right here now. Malkuth actually used this design in one of his videos for his uh, I don't remember what he put in his power plant or something but he wanted to be able to control it inside the power plant and he also has a workshop like 50 or 60 blocks away or something like that I don't remember but he can turn it off and on from a remote location now here's the cool thing too um, this doesn't necessarily have to be a long wire like let's say we're 100 blocks away we don't have to run a wire we can use that a wireless uh, transmitter wireless receiver to do the same thing like you put a transmitter here and receiver here but um, if you're using this for remote location, you can put a wireless um, transmitter here, or you can just run wire back, whichever it's up to you. But see, let's say over here we're in a totally different building, but as you can see, the lights will go off and on together now. So if I just want an indicator light inside the house to let me know if the combustion engine is on, there you go. Uh, so there's the combustion engine, there's the status light. So this is real handy. It's called an exclusive OR gate. Um, I won't show you how to craft it. It's in the recipe book, but there it is, XOR gate. But this is Grumpy Gamer. We'll see you next time. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Especially subscribe if you want to see more videos. I'll be doing videos regularly on Take It. I'm in love with the game, so we'll see you later.